the chair tied represent a prisoner represent a person or writer or a journalist or any person in our society we do have access to book in the Middle East like any other societies but mostly uh, unfortunately in some cases uh, many members of our society have a problem to express themselves freely and this is not only a problem only in the Middle East but it could be in other countries including the US where people sometimes unfortunately cannot say whatever they want to say and so this is a universal uh, symbol the chair is a universal symbol and uh, it, always artists not only in contemporary time but all as well as in ancient art uh, chair represents uh, humanity represent culture uh, with this connection with books it connected to knowledge it is connected to civilization uh, where uh, civilization, civilization sometimes unfortunately uh, under uh, a situation where there is a threat to values, to freedom of thought, to ideas on how uh, as an artist or a pr common person would like to communicate with the rest of the society. And as you look behind me, you see an artwork with a cloak being destroyed and uh, it gives you a sense of violence, destruction in, in this uh, painting. Why? In most recent years, I've been watching news like any other uh, viewer. Basically news coming from our uh, area, from Iraq or Palestine or even Lebanon, Lebanon southern Lebanon. Uh, y you have a sense of something going on. Violence takes place every day. And so people were killed daily, and the violence continues. And in this respect, the clock represents time, represents something is going to happen, and the victim always, the humanity. Uh, I feel sad watching the news, uh, people being killed, and the violence takes place at any moment. It could be midnight, it could be morning, it could be kids going to school, you're driving your car, you enjoy life, you're doing something. So, uh, as you look at it, also the work is not only about violence, but you could see a sense of confusion, aging, uh, destruction, and sometimes with this, this tragic scene, you could see, sometimes I apply cool colors such as blue or green representing hope as you look at the tragedy in our area but we also have to be optimistic we have to fight for our future for our kids for our heritage and should do something to stop the violence in our environment that destroyed everything not only nature museums buildings cars and in my opinion, this is wrong. Societies represented by people, governments, all, we should have responsibility to say no to violence. My name is Jane Fleury, and I'm the first vice president of the Art Center, and I'm also the selection committee chairperson, which means um, I just uh, organize the artists that are going to be up for selection and uh, present it to the board and I only have one vote so um, even if I feel strongly about work um, if the board doesn't feel strongly about it you know it may not get selected but I think that the main reason that we picked this work was because it really had a powerful feeling to it even if you didn't know what the work was about just on a visual level looking at the objects they're very powerful in and of themselves and particularly the doors, which I love, and the chairs. Um, there's just a sense of, um, it's almost overwhelming in a way, you know, and then to read that he lit the doors on fire is a sort of a performance piece. Um, I think that's a really important message. And I think the, the thing about um, the work 
uh, being related to the war in Iraq, I think people in this community especially very much were against that war. And um, I think it appeals to a lot of people in this community as it did to the board. And I think the board is where uh, there's a lot of lay people on the board and there are artists on the board. So there's a mixture of people that represent the art center. And so I think that is the type uh, that we represent the community in that way so that we pick artwork that we feel strongly about. So I think that's why his work was selected. It's very different and it's very powerful. And you don't have to know anything about the work to see that the work is powerful. And particularly the doors and the chairs too, the bound up books with the chairs, that's a very powerful image. Good opening. I think they, we counted about 500, between 500 and 600 people came to the opening, which is average mm -hmm. for us. Um, we, uh, the whole town opens up the night we open, so that brings a lot of people into town. Uh, they have an art walk, which a lot of the galleries and shops are open during our opening. And the art center is sort of the hub around which the community circles around uh, as far as um, our openings go and so we get a lot of people at the opening and it's usually people are just very receptive and very supportive of the art center so it's a wonderful um, art center in, in the sense that we've been here for 40 years and the community is just wonderful in supporting us Okay, I'm Joan Jeffers McCleary, the director of the Pacific Grove Art Center, and the board and staff of the Art Center are honored to have this exhibit of the work of Mohammed Al Sadun. It's very serious subject matter, very moving. Uh, I think it's very timely. It expresses to me strong anti war sentiments and makes statements about censorship war, destruction. I found different visitors to the galleries have been moved by different pieces. I myself found the exhibit of the burned books moved, moving to me on a very personal level because my father was a librarian and I was raised with a great respect for books and love of books. And that particular piece to me represents the destruction of books um, either, either by a repressive government or by persons within a country who didn't wish the populace to have access to books. Uh, the other piece that moved me is the, the piece, it's painted on a cube, it's multiple views of a woman with a veil and the title is Target Number, I believe, Number Three. And it spoke to me on a very personal level as a woman and realizing that women are the targets of violence throughout the world.